Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. It's a good Monday and Happy New Year. Absolutely. Happy Rosh Hashanah. Yes, to all of our Jewish viewers. Absolutely. We hope it's a great year. A lot of people have no school today also. Yeah, a lot of so, people are off from school today. So if you are just tuning in for the first time because you don't have school, well, welcome. Welcome to Great Day. Yeah. Great Day at 3. <laughs> We're so happy to have you. All right, so the saga of the car, we talked about this uh, Great Day on 9A. Uh, Kara texted me and I was asleep on Friday. She's like, hey, can I borrow your car? And I was like, you want to borrow my car? I'm like, what, what is happening? What is going on? <laughs> So anyway, we teased at 9A that I, it was not enough time. I'll tell the story now. So uh, thank you to Jim Bozzi, who helped us. Uh, we were My kids wanted to go see Lil Tecca at the Oakdale Theater. So he's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, is it going to be OK for that age group, whatever? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So anyway, um, we got tickets. I agreed that I would be the bus. And Helena could bring some friends. And Julian could be some friends. And they bought their tickets. And I said, sure, OK, so I have six kids and me. And then I realized I forgot to switch cars with Dennis in the morning. So yeah, I only the hearse. I only had a five car five I, seated car. Five seated car. And I had six kids in me. Can't so I wasn't that. gonna go on the highway, you know, with no seatbelt to know this. So I thought, who do I know that has seven seats? But I Across forgot. The street. But I'm thinking. I'm. I'm lying. And I'm, I got up from my text. I got up at like six o'clock because I had a public appearance to go to. And of course, you have no kids, and you have a seven seat car. I have a seven seat car. I have. A, I have a third <laughs> row in the back of my car right. that Dennis I don't even realize. A, Dennis has a third row, and I should have switched in the morning, but I forgot. It's unbelievable. So, but anyway, it all worked out. So then you slept through my text. I slept through your text. I was sweating. I'm like, what am I going to do? Do I try to order like a giant Uber? What do I do? And then it turned out that I didn't know if Dennis would be able to leave from New Haven from work, but he um, said I can, and I'll just drive right back we'll switch cars and we made it, it so it worked out and they got to everyone see everyone got to have seat belts everyone got to see little Tekka. you know what mom did rather than drive back from wallingford what did you do i read my book in the car and went to the nearby marshall's <laughs> <laughs> It was a really exciting Friday night. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I okay. uh, just want to thank everybody from uh, the Ukrainian fundraiser that I was at Saturday night. Uh, it was a Ukrainian concert. They had three different acts and um, just really wonderful music and all the money went to benefit. It's uh, e Chap, uh, EC Chap, I think is the name of the organization. It's the Eastern Connecticut Historical something. Uh, it, it was a wonderful venue at the Packing House in Willington. And um, I was the MC, and we had three musical acts, and we raised a ton of money for the Ukrainian people. That's so it was wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, so it was good. So thank you, everybody. Good to do some good. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, uh, Julia, for having me. I appreciate it, and everybody who volunteered. It was wonderful. Can I give one more weekend shout out? Let's do it. Okay, so it was uh, flag football under the lights with West Hartford, and uh, a little kid I know with big blonde, boofy hair scored a touchdown. Julian scored a touchdown? Yes, he did. The video's on my Instagram if you all want to see it. <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it was good. Uh, I, the coach is uh, none other than his father, so it was a good, it was a good day in my house. <laughs> Terrific. <All right. laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> all right, so people all across Connecticut, though, are yeah. sounding off after a big mess of Sound on Sound Music Festival over the weekend. Uh, we talked about this. It was so cool, all the amazing acts that were coming, but apparently, if you look on social media, and in fact, our photographer went as well. There was a lot of complaints about overcrowding, long lines, traffic issues. It was like Woodstock. It was a two-day event in Bridgeport. But some say they were waiting in line for hours just trying to buy food or drinks. I don't and know if they estimated 30,000 people showed up each day. 30,000 people each day. But they must know when they sold the tickets how many were coming. I guess so, right? They made $25 million, but apparently they have some growing pains and they're going to have to start rethinking. So they're asking you to go online and, and talk about any problems that you had so they can try and correct them in the future. Well, that's good. I mean, the, I it was good. at Seaside Park. I heard nothing but like, wow, this is going to be amazing. What yes. a great festival. Stevie Nicks. So many people end up going you know, out Matthews. of state to those big music festivals. So it's great to have one here. Yeah. So I think that, right, we got to celebrate the win that we had these amazing acts. And maybe they just need to, you know, get more porta potties, get more food. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. The new sponsor of the Super Bowl halftime show is stepping up in a big way. It's no longer Pepsi, it's now Apple, announcing Rihanna ah. as the 2023 headliner. Rihanna wow. confirmed her participation with a tweet of a picture showing her hand holding an NFL football. Kara, look wow. at her. She's so beautiful. Isn't she, she absolutely is. You, she lives somewhere in the Caribbean. I forget what island. Oh, okay. She has a house in the Caribbean, and every time we take a tour, everybody's like, I think it's Barbados. Barbados? I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Okay. But anyway, it is Barbados. And Alex every time Barbados? we go by okay. Barbados, they're like, that's Rihanna's house. And I'm like, maybe she'll come out and wave to us. But she never did. Well, Taylor Swift has a house in Watch Hill. Yeah, it's pr that's closer. <laughs> a little closer. I have probably better luck getting Taylor Swift to <laughs> you come You might out. see her at the... At the uh, 
uh, what's that? Oh my gosh. The roundabout? The, the, you the, know, the, the walk? The carousel. The carousel. <laughs> the historic <laughs> carousel. I couldn't think of it for a second. Anyway, the football, the mm -hmm. halftime is the big bang game is going to be February 12th in Glendale, Arizona. Yeah. All right. So that's really awesome. Yep. And this is after she had turned down the Super Bowl before. 2019. She, because she didn't want to support, she wanted to support Colin Kaepernick. Absolutely. Yeah. So James she, Earl Jones, who has voiced Darth Vader for 50 years of Star Wars films, seems to be stepping away from the role. What are they going to do? They're going to, like, synth, synth, synthesize well, his voice? Well, they're using archival voice recordings. Because when I first heard oh. this, I thought, how could anyone be anyone else other than James Earl Jones? Like, He's you can't replicate 91. that voice. 91. They're going to use artificial intelligence and th synthetic speech to recreate Jones's younger voice from previous films for any future Lucasfilms projects. Uh, uh, Talk now, about his voice living on. That's you, incredible. You just made the entire story make sense to me. So thank you, because I was totally confused as to what was happening. Okay. I was I read the script wrong and I was like, what is happening? So that's that's good. I'm glad they're gonna be able to use his younger voice. He'll still be James Earl Jones, which is awesome. Now we've gotten Scott to start using moisturizer, but do you think now you'll use Brad Pitt's skincare? Not for the prices he wants. It's what is ninety seven percent vegan. It goes from eighty dollars to three hundred and eighty five dollars, but if it's gonna make me look like him, I'm on board. Okay, yeah. It's called Le Domain. It features two exclusive... Le Domain, say it again. Le Domain. Le Domain. Because <laughs> it's your domain. I don't know. It's uh, the domain. Anyway, it's patented active ingredients to balance the skin and target visible signs of aging. Brad Pitt apparently is really into this. He used to not do m much great skincare, and he says it's made a difference, and it's all green. It has refillable products, upcycled packaging, um, it's vegan, so I don't know what part is three hundred and eighty-five dollars. Yeah, I don't know what part of that is. All, I'm sorry, Kara, I wasn't listening. All I was doing was staring at the video. But he founded the line with some organic wine growers, and um, I just wonder: Does do any of the grapes come from his vineyard? I don't know. That he has with Probably, Angelina right? Jolie. I he thought says, he wasn't allowed to use that, that, though. I don't know. He says we can't run from aging. And he'd like to uh, our culture to embrace the idea of aging well. Aging well. Well, I'm he's all aging for well. That. Do you know? Do you not love John Cena? He's such a good guy. From the from the hefty t uh, garbage bag ads, isn't that it, John Cena? Did he do the hefty uh, ads? Yeah, he does the hefty bags where oh. he comes out, and the neighbors like, look at that garbage bag. He's a 16-time. And they're like, look at John Trump. Cena. Well, he's hefty, right? Okay. Mm. <laughs> he's got. He's, he's a, a He's a 16-time world champion for wrestling, but he just set a new record. He now holds the world record for the most wishes granted through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now, that's an awesome record. That's some charity muscle he's got going on. That's so wonderful. He I love this. He fulfills the final wishes of children under 18 who've been diagnosed with serious illnesses. He's done it now for 650 children. No other celebrity has even granted more than 200 wishes. And they say he is the most requested celebrity for the nonprofit's wish program. So that's awesome. Aw, so that's part of it. Is the kids just really love him and they always request him. Absolutely. God bless. That's well, he's, really great. Uh, that re he's a wrestler, right? Forgive me. Yeah. Yeah, they're big. And the acts and everything. Kids love that wrestling. Oh, I used to watch when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah. I did, was Hulk like, Hogan, Roddy Roddy Piper. It was one of my thesis was on Vic, Vince McMahon when I was in Syracuse. About what? About his whole life and how he built this built this conglomeration. But, and, but, but, but what was your take on it? Um, that they wanted to know if it was fake or real, like back oh, then. Oh. So we had to get it, go yeah, into that. There's a lot of acting A lot of that involved. going on. Yeah. So that. Um, Rocket oh, Man! Burning down the head on the head. They I don't say know the words. it's his final farewell tour. Yes, now. Oh, sure it is. <laughs> he showed up at the White House Friday. Yeah. Uh, he was there, and he was a guest of President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden, and uh, he was uh, he was talking about um, just all of the hits like Tiny Dancer, Rocket Man, and you know he says he's going to retire, but I don't know. The performance was meant to help honor everyday heroes, and then they turned the table on himself. And they awarded him with um, the National Humanities Medal. The National Humanities Medal. So um, he got awarded the individual or groups whose work has deepened the nation's understanding of the humanities and broadened our citizens' engagement in that sphere. So, so awesome. He was there to honor other people, and they honored him. And they honored him. So it was a surprise. 
Aww. I just love Elton John. Who doesn't He's love Elton really John? He's really great. Sir Elton John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've probably only seen this in movies and comic books. We but talked about this on the yeah, show. Yeah, today for the first time, though, it's really happening. NASA happening. is going to send a spacecraft to slam into an asteroid <laughs> just to see if we can protect ourselves from space. <laughs> Why? Because there's another asteroid that might slam into Earth. Is there, I didn't hear that. Oh, that yeah, that's the whole thing. Oh, I mean, boy. we don't know when and whatever, but it, it, they have to make sure that, you know, if an asteroid was coming to Earth, what would we do to stop it? But, Kara, it's the only, it's the size of a vending machine. Don't yeah. you think it needs to be a little bit bigger? It's going gonna, it's gonna to slam into one of the moons of this... Uh, this Are we going to get to see it? Because it's happening at 714 tonight. We're going to be able to watch this so-called vending machine slam into the asteroid? Because that's must-see TV. They're going to try and show it. I so want to see that. It'll be right before, well, Eyewitnesses at 7 will be on, right before the Capitol Catwalk, which is streaming live at 730. So maybe we get to see that. All right. Well, tragedy for a young fan over the weekend is Tigers versus White Sox game. The boy was enjoying an ice cream, and guess what happened? It fell on the floor, but, I mean, the five-second rule. Take a look. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Strikes. Oh, that no. is, that oh. is an American tragedy. You know? I can still eat it. Oh, look, Dad, it. Dad, Come on, Mom. they go back five to him. Five-second rule. Five-second rule. Dad, dad takes it. He's oh, like, it's really fine, it's buddy. Don't look, worry. Look at his face. Look how sad. He's and then so sad. Dad wipes it off. Wipes it off, you know. Gives it back. Don't worry. And then he gets the five-second rule and he continues eating. So See, let me, he just learned the five-second rule. It was probably like less than that. It's probably like three and a half. Look, there you go. Back to back happy. Back to the kid and watch him. I'm so happy. happy. And speaking of happy, I want to give a shout out to Claudia Bogue. Oh. Yeah, she's such a good Facebook commenter. Our dog Max yeah. is seven today. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Look at little Max. Look at Max. Wait, what kind of dog is he? Is he's he? a little chihuahua. A little chihuahua, okay. Little chihuahua, Max. He has a little, I never know, sometimes chihuahuas have a lot of fur and sometimes they don't yeah, have that some, much. Yeah, exactly. This is a long hair, I guess. Okay. Beautiful. Claudia and Max, we hope you're having a great day. Happy seventh birthday, Max. Oh, lucky number seven. And thank you for the birthday music, Adam.